Hi, I'm Sony Artisan of Imagery, Tony Gale, and today I have five tips for splashes and pours. Tip one, use a light with a very fast flash duration. I like to use Sony speed lights. This is the HVL F60RM2. It's my favorite. Just about any speed light will work. This is the one I like. Tip number two is to use a remote. I use the Sony Bluetooth remote. Using a remote allows you to trigger the camera and drop or pour or whatever you're doing simultaneously. Otherwise, it's quite a challenge to do both at once. Tip number three, have something like this big darkroom tray or a larger tank to catch any water or liquid that spills out. You don't wanna make a mess. You don't wanna mop the floor. You don't want anything seeping under the carpet. You wanna clean and tidy. Tip number four, if you're using a tank, you start getting air bubbles and things on the inside. So having a little squeegee so you can squeegee off the air bubbles will make your life much easier. I have made the mistake of not doing that and then spending forever retouching the bubbles out. Tip number five, think about what you're dropping in your water. It's really easy for the water to get all the little bits and pieces off of whatever you're dropping in there. A whole lime, that's gonna work great. A sliced lime is gonna start making the water a mess. So you have to change it frequently. A fake lime might be fine. It depends on what you're trying to do. It's worth trying both. I hope these tips were helpful. Splashes and pours can be a lot of fun. If you wanna learn more about me, you can find me at TonyGale.com, at TonyGalePhoto on Instagram. If you'd like to learn more tips from me or anyone, comment below, tell b who you'd like to hear from.